While using Cisco Modeling Labs and setting up your lab topology, you'll be using a terminal emulator to interface with the command line of your various routers that's built into the web front end of CML. It kind of looks like this. You've probably seen this in my previous videos. You click on the terminal, or you may already be familiar with this uh, through your own experience. Click Open Console, and there you find a uh, sort of a command line interface. It is, it works just fine for setting up your routers that are in your CML topology. But you may not like being limited to just this one window and you have to jump from one router to another when going from one console to the other. You might want to have a multi-tab display in PuTTY or secure CRT, or even Windows Telnet or Mac OS Telnet, whichever operating system you're using to access your uh, CML lab environment. Well, I'm gonna show you how to use something known as the breakout tool or the breakout user interface that allows you to enable uh, Telnet capability to these nodes in your lab. All right, so sit back, enjoy, and here we go. When using Cisco Modeling Labs, you might need to use the Breakout tool, and I want to show you how to do that. So go over here to Tools, click Breakout tool, download, download the Breakout tool version uh, command line utility for the operating system that you're using, and I'm using Windows, so I'm going to click Breakout Windows x86 amd64.exe. Click that. It's showing you that it's downloading down here. Show in which folder it's in. It's going to be in your downloads folder. I'll show you mine. There it is. So I had already downloaded it once, so now it's downloaded twice. Let me delete the second instance of it. So there it is. It's in c colon black backslash users backslash Aaron backslash downloads now this is a command line utility so let me give you a white background to make this easier to see so there it is breakout windows type the command hit enter and it gives you all the options right here it mentions use ui to run a web front end. So UI for user interface. So hit the up arrow, retype the command and just type UI after it. Now it says starting up and it's opening a YAML file and I'm getting a phone call. <laughs> uh, serving the user interface API at the local host colon 8080. That's the IPv6 uh, loopback address, I believe, colon, colon, one. Or you use IPv4 local host or 127.0.0.1. So let's leave that there. Let's leave this here. Let's go back to our web front end. And let's type local host, colon, 8080. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so that you can see what happens when you access this, this back-end service. I'm going to hit Enter. And there you go. It shows there's a few um, bits of activity there. I'm going, to do, I'm going to do that again. Let me hit this Refresh button. There you go. So you see some of the, the hits against the back-end web server. Let me get my head out of the way. <laughs> All right. Now, we're getting an error. Can't refresh data. It's trying to get cml-controller.cml.lab. And so we need to change that. I think that's in the configuration here. So then change the controller address to be the IP address of your CML um, lab. 172.22.14.68 is mine. 
So I'm going to put that here and I'm going to change the login to be that of my CML lab. And then scroll down, say save. You'll see some activity on the back end server and a message that says configuration saved. Go back up here. Toggle away from it. Um, go back to configuration or go back over to labs and then hit refresh. And I'm getting a error. So let me see what this is about. Okay, so you can see now that I have my lab data here. What I did was I went back over to configuration and I toggled verify TLS. It was turned on, so I turned it off, went back down here and saved it. Then when I went back over here to labs, I hit refresh, and then this data popped up right here. All right. So let's click on the lab. And now we see all of my nodes. All right, so if you go back over here, you can see my nodes, iOS V, XR9KV-1, XR9KV-2, XR9KV-3, and also iOS V-2. And so those are all represented here in the breakout user interface. You'll notice that a lot of the serial ports are all red colored. If you go back, flip this toggle switch to on, go back in. Now you see some serial ports are running. And then if you float over them, it tells you what TCP port number they are accessible on. Okay. So now we can, for instance, uh, remotely access these nodes in the lab from our own computer. So float over this iOS v-2 node, for instance, that would be this one right here on the far right. And float over that serial port. And it, it really just tells you the same information that's right here that you can tell net to it using port 9014. So 9014. So go to a command line or putty or whatever terminal emulator you want to use. I'm just on, on the Windows command line going to use the built-in Telnet client, localhost 9014. And there we go. I am on the console of the iOS v-2 router. Show IP routes. And there we go. So that's how you access the breakout user interface and remotely access the devices in your CML lab from your desktop. Hey, that's all I got for the CML breakout user interface tool. Hope that was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.